All right, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another Just Throw a Disc Golf video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. Hey, check this out. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is pretty much talking to you guys about my first official tournament. Now, yes, guys, I did do the Flex Tournament before. I guess you can consider that my first official tournament, but the reason why I say this is my first official tournament is simply because I did this tournament by myself on a car with nobody that I knew, complete strangers. It wasn't Flex Start. This was just, I had to be there at a certain time on a car with a bunch of random people that I've never thrown with in a complete different city at a different course that I've never thrown at before. So uh, I feel like this was just something that was really going to be challenging for me. Also, something that I needed to go ahead and get the jitters out of my system. So we're going to talk about that, okay? All right, guys. So what I basically did was I signed up for a, a tournament out in Flagstaff, which I've never been uh, to a Flagstaff tournament in general. I've never even been to Flagstaff, period. I've lived in Arizona many, many years, and I've never even, you know, traveled outside of the area that I live in, which is kind of crazy, but it happens, right? Long story short, I'm a head coach of youth football. I really love coaching my players. Uh, I love being a coach in football. I'm an athlete myself. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things that really takes my mind off of life and stress, and I feel like I get to get back to the community, the youth, helping young men become leaders and athletes on and off the football field, okay? So I really take pride in that. And when I saw this tournament, it was kind of a last minute thing. I should have signed up a lot sooner, but I really wanted to find another tournament before I actually start coaching. So a friend of mine, James Fisher, shout out to him once again. Uh, he helped me find this tournament in Flagstaff. And it was short notice for me, but it was just kind of like, dang, I better jump into it right now because I'm not going to be able to get any tournaments in. So I went ahead and signed up for the tournament last minute and told my family, hey, we're going to Flagstaff, okay? So it was kind of a little bit nerve wracking for me because I don't really know much about Flagstaff in general, but you know, I just kind of wanted to go out there and jump into this tournament. So fast forward, let's go ahead and jump into the tournament thing, okay? So I got there with my family. We had a good time in a hotel, you know, got to eat some uh, hotel food, kind of sightsee out there a little bit. And then I went to the disc golf course and was actually able to see what the course was like, uh, throw out there. I can tell you right now, some of the challenging things that was out there and Flagstaff in general was the elevation. I was not used to the elevation. I was not used to... Um, my breathing patterns changing. I was not used to how the discs were flying out there. Everything was different. I had trouble breathing. I had trouble uh, kind of throwing my disc and trying to get in a trying to get in the groove of how my disc actually flew out there. It was just kind of everything was pretty much challenging at that point. I made it to Flagstaff. I'm pretty much. Anyways, I made it to Flagstaff. Um, I'm pretty tired drove from phoenix right after football practice after coaching tonight so I'm super tired i gotta be up in a couple hours for the tournament so i'm just gonna get some rest i was gonna vlog a lot more but it's like two o'clock in the morning so i'm not gonna do that i don't have all my gear either you know microphones or whatever so see you guys in the morning and hopefully i'll let you guys know how the tournament went all right so good night peace and love to everybody they got their own waffle maker, eggs, orange juice, fruit, cereal, etc. Not even gonna lie, first thing in the morning, the breakfast actually slapped. Okay, eggs, sausage, everything is pretty good. Up first thing in the morning, about 30 minutes out from the tournament, got me some extra orange juice. Let's see how it works out. So you can see we are here. Well, I am here from Phoenix. And this is the course. Check it out. A lot of trees. Never seen a course like this. Never played a course like this before. So I haven't been here. I don't know what to expect. But I do see some of the baskets out there or whatever. So hopefully uh, I have a good round out here and just try to be a little confident. Uh, I've never played with this many trees. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. This is an amazing, great looking course. 
All right, so you see I'm here. And like I said, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been to this course before, but I do think it's an amazing looking course. Um, just seeing everything being out here, it's kind of cool here. It's not as hot as it is down there in Phoenix where I live, but uh, this is a crazy looking course. I've never seen so many trees out here. I've never seen any of that. So I'm gonna try to come out here and do a couple putts. I'm about to tee off here soon. Really not even prepared for that. Uh, to be honest with you so whew, trying to get my jitters out do feel a little bit nervous but you know i'm out here by myself my family's back at the hotel just gonna try to have a lot of fun i don't have my whole camera set up i just have my iphone so i'm gonna kind of do what i can other than that i'm gonna do some putts right now and try to warm up this is the uh one of the baskets out here a little higher than expected but um for me i think i'm just gonna do some putts out here while i can and like I said, just look at this, guys. It's kind of, it's probably the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life, to be honest with you. Uh, this is just crazy. You know, just seeing this type of course, the trees being surrounded, the smell out here is super different as well. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I got my soft challenges out here. I'm out here in uh, Flagstaff. How do you say it? Toot Hill or how do you say it? Yeah. Tuttle? Tut Hill? Tut it Hill? pronounced Tuttle. Tuttle. Tut Hill. Okay. So I'm out here for, uh, well, technically my first tournament out here. So nice, I'm going to actually uh, get one of these right here. And what about the discs? They're for sale as well? Yeah, they've got uh, prices on the back of all Okay, of them. sure. So I'll check those out right now. All right, so almost time to tee off. But I had to go ahead and grab one of these nukes since I don't own one. So I bought one brand new. It was a little bit different, okay? I will say that. Uh, my disc actually flew a lot different. So basically, one thing that I found that was challenging other than my breathing out there or the elevation was pretty much how my discs were flying, okay? So normally, all my discs that are, you have your stable, overstable, understable discs, right? So here down in the Santan Valley area or Phoenix area, a lot of my discs that are stable, they'll fly stable. A lot of my discs that are overstable fly overstable and understable fly understable. But in Flagstaff, it was totally different. A lot of my stable discs would fly very overstable and then a lot of my overstable were super overstable and my understable discs ended up being more of my flying like stable discs if that makes sense okay so my disc selection was really challenging because i've never thrown at this course before um just you know trying to figure out how my putters and my disc drivers were gonna fly my fairways and everything it was just really challenging trying to figure that out i was kind of a little bit bummed about my performance because i ended up throwing a plus seven on the first day and a plus six on the second day you know for a lot of people that may not be a good thing but for me i consider myself kind of somewhat an ma3 guy but i'm still very much so a beginner so i would definitely say this was a good tournament for me to be in because I could have competed and got a lot better. But honestly, I just didn't play that well. And I don't really want to say that I didn't play well in the tournament. I just didn't hit the shots that I should have. It was very challenging course with the trees. A lot of the times you couldn't even see the basket, which made it very challenging as well. But not only that, I was forced to take shots that I would never take any other time. Like I took a couple forehands, but forehands is not even my thing. But some of them I got lucky, you know, a lot of times you get stuck behind big trees out there and you have to try to make another shot to the next spot, but there are trees everywhere. So every time you throw a shot, it's a very good chance that you're going to hit another tree or another tree and another tree. Okay. So I had some decent tee shots. Uh, my up shots were as usual, my game changer. Um, it really helped my score be a lot better than what it probably would have been if I didn't have good up shots. You made it. What? You made it. <laughs> Yo. All right, so I'm trying to vlog right now. It's actually doing a tournament. Not even sure if it's allowed, but I'm not having that really good of a game right now because I'm hitting a lot of trees out here. Um, <laughs> taking some fives and sixes on some holes, but this is the truth. This is how real it gets. I'm not doing great out here, but I can still probably recover a little bit, so I'm going to keep trying. But for right now, I'm still having fun. That's all that matters. All right, so I teed off from back there and I had a really good tee shot. So a little bit away from the basket right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there. So hopefully I can get a birdie on this hole. All right, so right now 
I'm up plus five. Uh, it's not great, uh, but it's not terrible either. I actually just got a birdie and I just had a good up shot. So we're gonna see if I can actually make this putt or not. I don't have a caddy, so I don't have anybody to record. All right, so I just finished the tournament right now. Uh, I didn't have a great game, but I didn't have too bad of a game either. Uh, I could have made a lot more birdies and things like that, but I missed them, missed my putts. Um, some of my tee shots, I hit a lot of trees, but I still finished with plus seven, which wasn't terrible. Had a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to come out and do a little better tomorrow, but uh, for my first time out here, I think it was pretty cool and fun. So let's shoot for tomorrow. I'm back in a hotel with my family. Um, just to quickly talk about the honesty of the tournament. This is only my second tournament. The first one was a flex start, so that don't really count to me because I just feel like, you know, that was just, you know, you can go with friends or whatever uh, who joined the tournament. But today was, I feel like, my first official tournament to play against strangers. And I threw a plus seven. So I didn't have any caddies. I didn't have any support system with me, anybody that I know personally um, on my card. So <clears throat> it was just kind of one of those things that I feel overall, like throwing a plus seven isn't bad. Am I bummed out about it? Yes, I'm bummed out simply because I'm very competitive. Um, I don't feel like it was me competing against those guys. I don't feel like any one of those guys out there was like, damn, he's just like way better than me. It was nothing like that at all. Uh, I think any other day at any other course, I would have been even with those guys. Or I would have probably uh, beat those guys. Okay. Um, but this being my first wooded course. Uh, that's what made it very challenging to me. And I think a plus seven is still not bad for my first wooded course, but there was a lot of things that got me in the first half that really kind of hurt me. And that was pretty much hitting trees. Once you hit the trees, it'll knock you far somewhere else behind another trees. And in Flagstaff, Arizona, there are a lot of trees. Okay. So you have to try to get a good upshot around it with forehand. I don't have a forehand. I even have to do a thumber on one shot that kind of saved me on a tough mando shot just because i didn't have a forehand thankfully um but other than that it was really just me kind of like missing some of my putts i got in birdie range on some holes and i completely just didn't make my putt um not only that some of them i was actually playing afraid and i just didn't tee off the tee with a lot of power okay uh so a lot of my shots were short and then i had to do an upshot and i ended up taking more strokes than what i wanted to but on a positive, I did have some really good up shots. Some of my tee shots were pretty good. I hit some lines uh, that other people on my car couldn't. And I got some really good up shots. My, my up shots are pretty much what saved me and helped me get a plus seven because otherwise my score would have been a lot worse. Uh, my up shots are really nice and that's really the strong point of my game. The thing that I like most about it was I had the opportunity to go ahead and experience this type of course. But not only that, uh, I had the opportunity to see something different. Like I never experienced elevation and things like that. So your discs do fly differently out here. Um, and I did make longer putts than what I normally do. So I thought that was pretty interesting too, because I really struggle with putts. And then I had some short putts where I was like, come on, dude, like that's an easy putt. I should have made that. And some of them just skimmed off the top of the rim. It's not like I did a terrible job. I think the whole day out of putting, I probably missed putt maybe two to where I didn't even touch the chains or the basket in general. So that's just something that I need to work on. But other than that, throwing a plus seven isn't terrible. Um, and it's just something that I need to work on in the future. Now, I will also say this, you know, it was just a nice experience to be out there with my family, um, kind of throwing this around, meeting some new people, I actually met some new friends out there that I exchanged numbers with. And it was crazy because one of the guys that I met, uh, shout out to Logan, um, he was the first guy that I met when I went to Flagstaff and we kind of met on the course, just kind of putting together. And then, you know, we just started talking or whatever. And then I went to go play on my card and he played on his card. Believe it or not, on my first card, I ended up throwing a plus seven. Like I said, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible either. Uh, everybody else on my card just had a better round with me, but I didn't feel like, any of those guys were just way better than me or anything. You know, I wasn't really competing against them. I was more so competing against the course, you know, against myself, trying to see how well I can do on this course. Um, James was pretty much telling me, you know, that I needed to use the first round as 
information. He was basically telling me to use the first round as information and it actually helped me out a lot simply because I wasn't, I didn't go into the second round stressing as much and it made a lot of sense to use that first round as information knowing that I never had a practice round because I didn't get there in time. I got there at 2.30 in the morning, five, six hours before I had to actually throw, okay? So I didn't get a warm up in, I didn't get to see what the course was like, I went there blind, okay? Um, the reason why I had to do that was because I had to coach my players back home on that Friday night. So I didn't get the opportunity to go ahead and go up to Flagstaff a day early to go ahead and practice. So I had to basically coach, leave at like nine o'clock at night and then head to Flagstaff, okay? So that's just pretty much how it worked out for me. It wasn't ideal, but it, it's something that I had to run with. Well, anyways, the positive about the situation was I was able to throw on my card. I kind of basically placed fourth on my card. And after you throw on day one, they kind of match you up with people that you pretty much can compete with for day two. So Logan, the guy that I met, ended up being, I think, one of the worst on his card as well. And another guy named Ty. Shout out to Ty as well. So we ended up being the guys on our card for day two because we had the worst scores on day one. Now, surprisingly enough, it was really cool to go ahead and have Logan on my card the next day because I had already met him the day prior. So throwing against him, I felt kind of confident and cool and more relaxed, which kind of helped me in the situation, okay? Now, I will say this. The other guy named Ty, I don't even know him personally, but I will say this. He shot a plus nine the first day and he came back the second day on my card, and he shot a neg six. That's incredible. Shout out to Ty. That is super incredible because that's something that I was looking to do. Not necessarily get a neg six, but I was looking to at least shoot par or something like that because I know I'm capable, but I struggle with a lot of my shots, uh, mainly because I hit the tree right off the tee pad, okay? So when you hit the tree off the tee pad, like I said, you don't know where your disc is going to go and you got to try to make up for those shots lost. So a lot of the holes were, some were part three, some were part four, some were part five. And believe it or not, you would think that that's enough. But when you have a bunch of trees all over the course, if you don't get through those trees, you could easily go from, you know, four strokes to six strokes, you know, something like that. It just all depends on if you know how to shoot tight lines or get through those trees or shoot around, highs around the trees or nice forehands. I would say that that particular course is definitely more so of a forehand friendly course. I would get, I would definitely say it's more so geared toward people who shoot forehand. So if you got a forehand or maybe you're a lefty or whatever, then you're, you're probably going to do better on that course than a majority of right hand backhand throwers in general. And I'm a right hand backhand thrower. But anyways, my point in general is that it was really cool to go ahead and shoot on that course with somebody that I knew the day prior. But not only that, day one and day two showed me that it doesn't matter who you are, that you can have a good day the first day and have a bad day the second day. Uh, Ty shot plus nine the first day and next six the second day. That is incredible in my opinion. Um, that's so many strokes that he took off the second round. Um, I would say that I shot pretty consistent. I shot plus seven the first day and one stroke better the second day. Uh, everybody that I shot with on my first card the first day, all those guys did way better than me. I think it was neg two, neg one, and plus one for those guys. But I checked their scores the second round. Only one guy was pretty consistent. I think his name was Taylor. Uh, shout out to him. I think Taylor shot neg two the first day and neg two the second day. And then the other guys, uh, shout out to Mike, shout out to Gavin, I think it is. I think Mike shot seven, eight strokes worse than what he did the first day. And Gavin shot about three strokes worse, which was probably, I think he was like plus four, plus five the second day. It doesn't matter. You'll have a good day and you'll have a bad day. And for me being a beginner, you know, this was really some some pretty good experience for me. Everybody else uh, had been playing for years. Them coming into this tournament, they were really confident and they felt pretty good based off what they told me. Me, myself, only playing a couple months, I didn't feel confident in coming into this tournament. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't come into it with any expectations, uh, but I did feel like, you know, I was probably going to shoot pretty bad simply because it's a wooded course and I've never done it before, but it turned out that I shot pretty good. Now, did I score high overall based on everybody else? No, but again, I should probably be shooting MA4 
right now, but right now I'm shooting M83, and I like that because it's going to help me get a lot better early on in my game. So I'm going to take on the negative, and I'm going to take you know the pros and the cons in the situation. Yes, the pros are I got a lot of experience. Uh, I got to meet some new people. I got to see how people throw in wooded courses. I got to see how I could throw in wooded courses as well as elevation and things like that. But the cons in the situation, it's not a whole lot of cons. I just feel like uh, the cons for me was I didn't get to go in a situation um, to this course with some type of preparation. I went into it blind. If I would have threw this course, probably hear my dogs barking, but if I would have threw this course multiple times before actually coming to this tournament then i would have probably did a lot better guys i just want to say overall i had a really good time at the course uh, i got to shoot some extra footage that i'm going to be utilizing for one of my disc golf courses reviews uh for that place uh, by the way that particular course is i think it's tuttle a tuttle or something like that uh t-u-t-h-i-l-l so if you know about that course, then you know exactly what it is. But pretty much it was a really fun course to go ahead and shoot at. I would definitely like to do it again. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that I'm glad that I got some experience in because now I look forward to doing more courses like that in the future. So I probably will travel to Flagstaff more often to try out new courses out there because I heard that they had great courses. Other than that, I got to meet some good people. Um, I really got to learn a lot about how to throw my discs in elevation. It was just really fun to do some tournament stuff. I bought some discs. You know, I did a lot of good, cool things out there. Got to enjoy my family time and everything. So I just thought it was a really good experience. I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I hope that you're tuning in to it. Again, my dogs are in there going crazy. So I'm probably going to just, you know, either edit this or keep this out or whatever the case may be. Or just the audio may be fine. Please continue to check out my content as I continue to grow in my disc golf journey. Um, I really want you guys to try to tune in to what I'm doing and hit that subscribe button and notification bell, obviously, because I want you guys to see what I'm doing, what it's like as a beginner. And then I want to interact with you guys as well. Give me some tips. Give me some advice on what you guys think. Um, other than that, guys, if you're new to disc golf, pick up a disc, don't stress, and just throw it.